The family of a man from North Carolina finally has answers after 40 years of not knowing what happened to their loved one, Francis Wayne Alexander. Today, authorities announced Alexander's remains were among dozens recovered from the crawl space of a home owned by the notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy. Gacy was convicted of murdering 33 young men and boys in the mid-1970s and died by lethal injection in 1994. News Nation's Felicia Bolton is joining us tonight. And Felicia, some closure now for a family who held out hope for all these years. For so many years, Marnie, and Francis Wayne Alexander's remains were found more than 40 years ago in the crawl space inside of John Wayne Gacy's home. At the time, police had no idea who he was until DNA technology recently revealed that mystery. A seemingly lovable clown turned out to be a mass murderer. John Wayne Gacy assaulted and murdered at least 33 young men and boys. Police say Gacy regularly performed at children's hospitals and charitable events as Pogo or Patches the Clown. Police finally arrested him in 1978 after nearly a decade of murdering. The best count, 33 victims killed and buried in his Illinois home, including Francis Wayne Alexander. It was like the typical painstaking work of finding out when Wayne was last seen, um, tax records, um, parking tickets that we were able to put this all together, combining it with the DNA. Cook County Sheriff's Department says Alexander was a newlywed of three months. Investigators believe he was no older than 22 when Gacy killed him. The North Carolina man moved to Chicago in 1975, a year before he went missing and lived near the area Gacy often targeted. There's no proof of life or no proof of death after early 1976. And, and that was sort of the key. And then we knew, as the sheriff had said, the end date would be March 15, 1977, because the victim that was buried on top of him in Gacy's crawl space, uh, that was when he was last seen alive. The key piece to discovering his identity, a nonprofit organization called the DNA Doe Project. They were able to link up a DNA profile and create a family lineage using websites like Family Tree DNA, which allows law enforcement to use the information to make a match. We were very fortunate in this case to be able to um, provide a lead so quickly because um, there it is a smaller pool of, um, of testers in the database at GEDmatch and in Family Tree DNA. Alexander was never reported missing. His family says they thought he just wanted to be left alone. Now, 45 years later, his mother knows the truth. She released a statement reading in part, quote, he was killed at the hands of a vile and evil man. Our hearts are heavy and our sympathies go out to the other victims' families. Casey was executed in 1994, and in order for this tool to work, it does require more people using this genetic family tree website or website similar to it, and also allow the DNA to be used for this purpose by law enforcement. Of the 33 victims Gacy killed, there are now five that remain unidentified. The group says a tooth from this victim was enough to make that DNA match. Marnie. Wow, incredible. Felicia, thank you.